today I'm just going to do a little quick mini painting. It's going to be almost real time, so let's go ahead and tape this stuff down in my little mini watercolor book. Yeah, this is just washi tape. Yeah, let's put that clip. Uh, let's not put that clip. We're going to just pretend that didn't happen. Alright, yeah, more tape. See? Didn't happen. That one behaved. <laughs> anyway, this is a four and a half by five inch little mini watercolor book, arches, uh, cold press watercolor paper. I just made it off of a tutorial. It did have Elmer's glue, so it's kind of cracking a little, but anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a little snail and a toadstool. I'm doing a loosely based sketch off of a little sketch thing I did before. I'm just going to use my little mechanical pencil for that, and he's way too small. It's like I have a giant living in a snail shell that's made for ants. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Alright, let's put some of my little micron ink. I'm not getting a lot of strong color, but I'm okay with that. Let's just ink this up. Yep. I do have a thing for snails. I like, really like them. They're so cute. They're kind of like little shelled puppies. I don't have anything against dogs. I'm more of a cat person. But snails, they're like puppies for Sheila. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let's get a little bit of shading here. Do do do. I think I, yep. I definitely missed a spot. Anyway, add that back in. Now I'm going to use my Grumbacher paints. I don't even know what colors I'm picking. I'm just randomly picking at this point. I really have no plan for this at all whatsoever. Yeah, yellow. Let's add a little bit more yellow to the brown yellow. Now we have mustard. Maybe a little bit of green. It's kind of like grass. Sort of. And here. Okay. So we already know that I break all the rules of watercolor. Um, this is not dry. We're going to pretend that we want it to be that way. This is our plan. Yeah, see? Making it the plan. I might add a bit more of that orange. And let's give him a little bit of a base color. Right, that red is a lot more pink than I thought it was going to be. And this is why we do swatches. Um, yeah. I did do like a pinky red and an orangey red. And then a... Uh, it's kind of like a brown but not quite. Uh, yeah, let's make this a little richer. Yeah, oh goodness. Yeah, that's a little too much. <laughs> and it's going everywhere. We're gonna pretend it meant to be do that. Uh, I meant to be do that. Yeah. Speaking, uh, not so good. And you think I do customer service? Yeah. I can't talk then either. I spend most of my day saying I can't talk. Anyway, so I've let it dry, and you can see I kind of like the patterns though, especially on that stem. And now I'm just going to add a little bit to the shell, make this stand out a little more. I don't want to lose the undertone here though, because I really do like it. Um, hey, at least I let it dry this time. I also like to add a little texture to my shell, and he's going to be a little orange. We have a near rainbow thing going on. We're just missing some blue and purple. I'm okay with that, really. This is going to eventually probably be inked over and dark. And here we go. So far I'm liking how this is coming out, um, despite my lack of planning and my lack of patience. We know my patience is really not the best. Okay, so let's go ahead and darken this green down here. All right, good, good. Add some happy little leaves of grass. Really don't like this green for this, but it works, and there's really no depth. Let's go ahead with my white ink. <coughs> 
right? Now at this stage, I can tell the, the paper is still a little damp, but the white ink is behaving. All is pretty good here. Just adding these little white splotchy splotches. And I think I am going to go ahead and put some details on the, de the shell. It's a couple little designs. It makes it stand out a little more. Okay, and it's really at this point that I should stop. <laughs> as soon as I do these little dots, I love these dots. Because I should have realized this isn't dry enough for this part yet. And holy feckin' hell, it's really making a mess. And it's awful. Um guess I'm just going to go with it at this point though because I started. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and line this out even though my ink is kind of bleeding in. Okay, it's very bleeding in. All right, we just, we're going to do it. Let's go ahead and ink our little snail and oh gosh, I'm losing some of my detail. Oh, he was so cute. Very cute. Oh, no. Now I lost his little whatever the heck that is. Antenna thingy. Okay, well, we're committed at this point, so we're just going to continue, even though this is definitely not as planned. And it's not making me happy. It has stolen my joy. Not really, but hey, at least it's a sketchbook, you know, you just, you make mistakes. And you press on, you just keep going. Um, so yeah, that's like all black now. It really bugs me. Everything else is mostly behaving. Uh, the grass is pretty good, it's not too wet now. Of course, the part that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so let's sign that. I'm starting to sign just my first name because I wouldn't mind if my last name changes someday. <laughs> uh, Let's go ahead and look here, peel that on off. I put the date on it just for myself. I'm not going to do anything with this one, but I'm not going like, to sell it or have stickers or anything. It's just an experiment. And yeah, let's just take a look. Okay, so the ink is terrible, but yeah, you can see, you can really see how bad that is. Um, yeah. Well, it is what it is. It's cute. Thank you so much for joining me today.